So we already have our withdrawal one up here, right? Mm -hmm. That's normal withdrawal. This time, all we're going to do is we kind of want to deactivate the opposing muscle. Okay? So, same thing. It's so withdrawal reflex, so my pain or nociceptor is my receptor. I'm going to have a sensory or an afferent neuron. It's gonna ha it does have an inner neuron, so we can check that off our list. It's going to synapse with an alpha motor neuron, but this one's actually going to have two different ones. This is still a motor neuron, okay? Motor neuron. Except this one is going to go to our extensor muscle. Conducting an IPSB. So what was our flexor muscle again? Our hamstring? Yeah. And our extensor is our quadriceps. Okay? So if I step on a Lego, I want to flex my hamstring to pull it off, right? So if you kind of like do these reflexes, you can feel your muscles like moving and flexing and relaxing. Mm -hmm. So when I'm here, if I was to just step on the Lego and flex my hamstring, but not relax my quad, just do I move? No. No. So I need to flex my hamstring or my flexor, and I need to relax my extensor. So I'm able to pull my foot off. Does that make sense? Because if both of them are flexing, no movement. Uh -huh. So if I relax the top one, then my bottom one, my flexor, can bring me off. And that's it. Withdraw with reciprocal innervation. So, so we have one that's going to be an EPSP and one with IPSP. Why does it sound so much more simple on the board than in the book? <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's what it's saying? I'm like, oh, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> Why did I not get this? <laughs> yep. So we're just going to inhibit one and excite the other. Okay. Okay. That makes sense? And you were using the hamstring and which muscle again? Um, this one, which one is this going to be? The hamstring? Yeah. And this one's your quad. Oh, sorry, this is important. Since there are two different things, There's two. we're going to have two interneurons. And they just connect to the two different... Uh-huh, and there's kind of two red things. Okay? Okay. Yeah, I was going to ask so you... So for like this one... Two. Yeah, so for this one, if it's a IPSP, let's follow... This is the, the top one's an interneuron. This is going to be inhibitory interneuron. And what would this bottom one be? Excitatory. Yeah. Excitatory interneuron and inhibitory interneuron, which then synapses with the uh, motor neurons. Uh huh. So are there two afferent signals then, or does the signal the same, it just divides it? Pretty sure it's the same. Yeah, it's going to be the same. So just one sensory. Okay. One sensory neuron coming from your nociceptor. Oh, so that's what these two are right here are for? Yes. Oh, is the two different? Okay. Uh-huh. So you have one sensory, and then it branches off the collateral branches, and you're going to have your motor coming back. Um. What else? Is it clear? Do we need to know if um, the other interneurons are cytatory interneurons or inhibitory as well? Um, not exactly. Well, yeah, you can kind of. So let's say, but you'll already know the answer to that. So let's say we're just going back to stretch my stretch reflex. Or let's go back just to our normal withdraw. Uh huh. So what is this one called that we have drawn up right now? The Withdraw reflex with reciprocal, reciprocal innervation. Oh, okay. Innervation. Mm -hmm. with. So that's what this picture says. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to our. What is this one? Just the withdraw, right? Yeah, that's re Just withdraw. withdraw. Mm -hmm. withdraw. withdraw reflex. Is this an IPSP or 
or sorry, is this an excitatory interneuron or inhibitory? Excitatory. Mm -hmm. So they probably won't ask you just because if there's not two of them, they won't, but yeah, it's going to be an excitatory. What about with our stretch reflex? Do you think if I'm going to be contracting? Well, it doesn't have an interneuron stretch reflex. Aha! Uh -huh. Boom! That was good! <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even think that one out. Yeah! Awesome! Okay, what about our GTO? Our Golgi tendon reflex? That would be inhibitory. Okay. In inhibitory inhibitory interneuron. Okay. Beautiful! <laughs>